Hey, this is Lyle with BuyButtonParts.com. I just wanted to show you how to make your own button with the Print Shop Deluxe. First thing you want to do is uh, open your project. I already have one open here. I'll show you how to do that. This window here will say Open My Projects. Right here I've got um, my own projects. But I'm going to just click the Open button. And open project and then double click on the one that you want to do I'll start with the two and a quarter inch button template shows it over here hit open and that's your blank template that you can start with now what I want to do is show you how to do the curve text basically all you do is click text tools insert headline or text box you could do either one but I do headline to do the tagline and then I go ahead and enter in the text that I want hit customize hit shape and I want to turn warp text off because it, it makes it look a little funny for the tagline so I'll take warp text off it'll keep it straight and there you go you got your curved text really easy and then I position it where I want I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit so that it goes with the curve of the button that looks good there right click it hit position center on page Actually, I wanted to do center horizontally because I already had it where I wanted it pretty much. Right click, position, center horizontally. Now you can just move it up or down, put it in the right spot. That looks good. And now I want to add a color to the background here. And what you'll do to do that is hit um, drawing tools insert shape button shape is a circle so I'll go ahead and do that pick your color that you want to use I'm going to use a high impact yellow and maybe with a little blend in it You can choose a bunch of different types. Let me try that one out. I'll try that. And then hit OK. And then what you'll want to do is make it the uh, same size as your image here, as your button. I just hit full page. You do that by clicking, left click that and hit full page and that'll make it as big as your button. And then what you want to do now so you can see the text and your red circle which shows your viewable image area. Click the circle here, right click it, and then go to layer, send back one layer, now I can see my text here. We need to do it again so we can see the red part. Layer, send back one layer. And now I can see my red outline. I'm going to change the color of this uh, text here by double clicking it. Color, I'm going to go with white so that it stands out. Oh, that was the background color, sorry. Color none for the background. But text color. That would be the face. Hit white and OK. And there we go. 
Now what I want to do is add an image, insert art or photos. Now the program comes with clip art and everything. You can use that or you can use your own photos and import them. I'll go ahead and use mine. You can pop in your own photo and rotate it however you want. I'm going to add in some more text. line type. And you can change it however you want. It's pretty easy to manipulate it. I can just take that out by deleting it. I can just cover this whole thing like that. And there's your button. Now to get rid of this um, red outline for printing, we use this as a guide so that you know what's viewable. To get rid of that, just right click or left click it to select, right click it, hit layer, and then go to um, send to back. And then it disappears. And what I want to do is print preview, and it arranges it on the page so that you have full page of buttons and you just hit print and you are done. And that's it.